Hi guys, Gadget Girl Kylie here, and welcome back to my Let's Play walkthrough of Costume Quest Grubbins on Ice DLC. So I've made my way back over to this dude, which is the Trobag Elder, and the reason for that is that there is actually a little secret area um, which will give you a trophy down here. So you want to go over the ramps, go over this ramp, and if you switch over to the eye costume. You'll notice that there is actually a little little ledge down there. So we want to drop down. Go inside here. And there's a little character here. Join Charlie Blackmore as he puzzles his way through a Victorian themed diorama world on a grand adventure to save his family in stacking. A new downloadable game coming soon from Double Fine Productions. So a bit of self-promotion there, but it does get you a trophy, so that's pretty cool. So I haven't actually played stacking, so I should probably give it a go at some point. And that's it, basically the rest of the area is just candy so we can go ahead and drop down there so i'm gonna go and make my way over to the final boss area now because we've done all of the missions if i just quickly bring up my trophies actually i just want to show you guys my trophy collection at the moment oh damn it's sinking okay so costume quest 76 percent if i go on the game here you can see that I've got un all the trophies for the main story the only ones I haven't got are complete all quests in Repugia um, and defeat Araxia in battle so you should get those two trophies together because um, the last quest is obviously to defeat Araxia so I'm gonna go ahead and do that next Okay guys, so I do actually need to buy one more stamp, so we should be able to go and get that in a second. And I might do some levelling up before the final boss as well. Okay guys, so as you can see I'm now at level 14. And also I've changed up the costumes that I'm going to be using against the final boss and the battle stamps. So I'm going to go ahead and go through that now. So as you can see, Ren is wearing the Yeti costume, Everett is wearing the vampire costume, and Reynold is wearing the uh, robot costume. So if we go over to battle stamps, Ren has this one equipped, galvanised mummy gauze, greatly increased defence. So I want that defence on the Yeti costume because... I don't want it taking much damage since it's got that awesome move which allows me to put a shield on all of my party members. Everett is wearing this stamp. Multi-winged vampire bat. Small HP recovery per turn for the entire party which is really good because it's about anywhere from 50 HP or more. So that's really handy. And then plus he's wearing the vampire costume. So his special is healing the whole party as well. So he's just pure healing at the moment. Then Reynold is wearing this one. Skellington of the Wolf. Which is double attack power. So because he's the robot costume. He's going to be dealing a lot of damage. So he's my main damage dealer. So Ren is my defender, Everett's my healer, and Reynolds my damage dealer. So that's the plan. So time to go across this bridge. There was actually an enemy here. I just defeated it and leveled up, so you didn't miss anything. You just missed a fight, really. Um, Oh, Big Bones. So we're going to have to fight Big Bones again. Interesting. Oh, 
Oh my god, they're actually throwing the candy into his mouth. No, Lucy! We don't want Lucy to be fed to him. Yeah, which does make you a bad guy. <laughs> well, we can't allow that to happen. <laughs> well, from his point of view, he's doing the right thing, isn't he? <laughs> but not from our point of view. Fight time! So, are we just fighting Araxia or Big Bones as well? Oh, big bones. And Araxia. Can we actually attack big bones? No, we can't attack big bones at the moment, guys. Get our defense up. Oh, so he doesn't take any damage when he's flying in the sky. Did bugger all. Special now that he's on the ground. It's 
get my defense up. Big Bones is ready to use a special. So really, I actually, with this combo, I could have not even used the vampire and used another attacking type. Guess it'd be safer than sorry though, I guess. Heal now. My special, just in case we need it, but because I've got the healing with the uh, vampire here. back. And there we go, they're the last two trophies I needed to get as well. Oh, those two are so cute! Yeah, let's let's make our way through that then. <laughs> now. No, Lucy. <laughs> Time to return home. Which one takes us home? 
Oh, I was gonna leave it there. I'm wondering if that's... I wonder if that's where Costume Quest 2 picks up then. Going through one of those portals and we end up somewhere else. So yeah, that was it. That's the uh, DLC of Costume Quest, Grubbins on Ice. Short and sweet. Basically the same idea as the main game. You get your little mini games and side missions of collecting the cards, you need to find the missing children, you need to trick or treat at the houses, you need to bob for apples, and you need to defeat the boss of the area. So yeah, it was pretty cool, I enjoyed it, I liked the story, and uh, it was nice to kind of be in the monsters world as well, and see more, more monsters, and the final boss fight was pretty cool as well. It wasn't as hard as I thought it would be, because like, a few people were saying to me, oh, the final boss of um, Grubbins on Ice is quite hard, so make sure you're ready for it, but to be honest, it didn't feel difficult. That team I had was really OP with the Yetis special with the defense and then the healing card equipped as well as the healing from the vampire. I, I probably could have got away with not using the vampire, as I said earlier, and just used like, I don't know, the Yeti the robot and I don't know who else I would have used instead of the vampire. Maybe the ninja because I haven't used him in a while. Or maybe one of the new costumes like the pirate or the eyeball, something like that I could have used I guess. But yeah, um, best to be safe than sorry. It was nice that no one died on that boss fight. So once again guys, I really enjoyed this Let's Play walkthrough of the Grubbins on Ice DLC as well as obviously the main game. I will be doing Costume Quest 2, it might be straight after this Let's Play finishes or I might have a break and do it in the future, but I, I would say this Grubbins on Ice DLC gets the same score as um, the main story of the game, 9 out of 10. I'm going to say that they're both included in the same scoring actually because I enjoyed it just as much. There wasn't anything different other than the story, it was the same format of mini games and, and what you need to do and stuff and uh, I liked the new costumes, I'm glad they bothered to put new costumes in the DLC as well so that's cool. And I actually wonder in, in Costume Quest 2 if we can use all the costumes that have appeared so far in this first game and the Grubbins on Ice DLC so that'll be interesting. Um, but yeah. So that's it for me guys, I'm going to leave the rest of the credits, oh we're at the end of the credits, but yeah 9 out of 10, thank you for watching, don't forget to like, comment, favourite, share and subscribe if you haven't done so already and as always guys, thank you for watching.